Tracy well, here. Join me today, and I'm here with Fireman Sam, and we're at the Vancouver Fire Station. Fireman Sam is looking rather glum today. There's been so much snow, and especially overnight, there's been a huge snowfall. So he needs big help, big time. What's that I hear? Is that Minnie and Eric playing the guitar? Yes it is, and he wants to give him a tune to cheer him up. Well, Fireman Sam thanks Eric, but he needs help of a different kind. What's that Fireman Sam can hear? He can hear the sound of heavy machinery in the distance. He knows what that means. It means the construction of vehicles from Caterpillar. And they will have all of this snow moved in no time. There is a bulldozer, a wheel loader, And we have a dump truck reversing. Good stuff, says Fireman Sam. This is going to be gone in no time. Simon Sam is much happier now that all the snow has been cleared. It was cleared away in super quick time. So Simon Sam decides to offer the very cold guys now a cup of steaming hot hot chocolate. Well done Simon Sam and well done to the construction team. Take care then guys and thanks for dropping in. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and if you like my video please give me the thumbs up. And if you'd like to share with your friends on Google+, Facebook or Twitter, I'd really appreciate that. So take care and bye for now. And today I've got this amazing toy to share with you. It's the Fireman Sam Fire Station and this one includes Elvis. So it says, uh, look at the back to see inside. Ooh, this sounds exciting. Oh wow, and Elvis is inside there, and there's a fireman's pole as well. And here it says it includes Elvis the figure, a flip down fire feature, opening garage doors and a working fireman's pole. So this is super cool guys, and we've even got a gut double garage door there as well. Let's unbox this wonderful toy and take a closer look shall we? Okay, so let's open it from the bottom. And we all need a screwdriver. Okay, so I just undo the last little bit. Oh, no need to undo this screw a little bit more. This is inside uh, the inside view of the fire station, and here's the front. So we'll just take it out. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Just get rid of the packaging, and we'll just take out this string that's 
lots of packaging inside. Okay, so here's our finest pole, and of course, here's Elvis. So we just need to take all of this off to get him out. Ready for action. And let's try him on the fireman's pole. So we just clip him on there. Okay, here he comes. Cool. And let's just swing around and take a look inside the fire station. All the equipment there, the helmets and uh, the oxygen cylinders, also a cabinet for them to keep their uniforms and uh, the alarm, and of course the garage doors that just flip open, and also flames that flip down, which is very cool. And now boys and girls, it's time for a story. Featuring Elvis, Fireman Sam, Mike Flood, Naughty Norman, and the forklift truck. It's a busy day in Ponty Pandy today. Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington are checking things out just to make sure that they're all a okay. So, firstly, they're going to check out Jupiter. Check out the master alarm. Yes, that's working very well. And Elvis wants to try out the fireman's pole. And it's working just fine. Meanwhile, over at Mike Flood's workshop, Mike is waiting for a special delivery. He's waiting for some special tools. They are going to be delivered on a forklift truck. He is so excited and he can see the forklift coming now. But the forklift truck seems to be unbalanced and oh my goodness, it's knocking over Mike and the cargo is gone and now so is the forklift and the forklift truck burst into flames. It was Naughty Norman in the cargo box that made the forklift so unbalanced it toppled over. Norman could see that Mike Flood, his friend, was in danger, so he dragged him out of the way. Naughty Norman made sure that Mike Flood was okay. He sat him up next to his van. Thank goodness that Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington were just next door and Fireman Sam had seen what had happened. So they sprung into action to put out the flames. Here's Fireman Sam now with the super soaker. He'll have those flames out in no time. Done, Fireman Sam. You've saved the day. With Elvis's help, Fireman Sam managed to turn the forklift truck up the right way. And the driver was just fine. And off he went to make more deliveries. Norman Price, I need to have a word with him. And as usual, Norman was nowhere to be seen. He was hitching a ride on the back of the forklift, no doubt heading for more trouble. So then guys, if you like Fine and Sam and if you like toys, be sure to touch on the like button. Also, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel and you can see the videos first. And for more Fireman Sam fun, 
touch on one of the four boxes that will shortly appear. Tracy, well today you join us, Fireman Sam with his dog radar and Peppa Pig are getting some sodas in the shop. It's a hot day and they're thirsty. When all of a sudden, the master alarm was sounded. Great fires of London, said Fireman Sam. That's the main alarm, it's an emergency. Back to Jupiter, quick! Simon and Sam and Peppa Pig ran outside and they just could not believe what they saw. Almost every building was on fire in Ponty Pandy. Quick, I've got to get to Jupiter. Peppa Pig ran off to get her fire engine to help. Every building in Ponty Pandy was alight. This is what became known as the Great Fire of Ponty Pandy. A fire that everybody talks about. But while Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig went to get their fire engines, the fire continued to burn and poor Rubble was so scared. Oh, this is so bad, said Rubble. Every building is alight. I just can't believe it. All of this was started by just one firework. But in the distance, we could hear the fire engines. They're coming to the rescue of the folk of Ponty Pandy. Thank goodness. Come on, then. Let's go. Here comes Fireman Sam Those now. Fires of London were on our way. Jupiter to base. Jupiter to base. Peppa Pig wasn't far behind with her special fire engine. Here comes Nurse Flood, followed by Station Officer Steel on Bessie. We need every emergency vehicle for a fire of this size. Here's Elvis and Tom Thomas now with Venus. All the vehicles are being positioned, ready to put out all of the fires. My goodness, no one has ever seen anything like this great fire of Ponty Pandy. Sam gets the hose out of Jupiter and makes a start on the first building. First Sam checks if anyone's in the building, but luckily everyone's got out safely. It's just a question of getting those fires out. Good, that's the first flames dealt with. That's the second window with the fire put out. Now just for the last one. Excellent, says Sam. That first building's dealt with. Let's see how Pepper's getting on with Mike's garage. Pepper and Rubble get out the fire extinguisher so they can work on the next fire. And as quick as a flash, the first fire is out in the tower. And then Mike's garage is saved. And that fire is also out. Now on to the next fire. Here, with the help of Bessie, Station Officer Steele is dealing with the next fire. Thank goodness, he says, as that fire is extinguished as well. Bessie may be old, 
but she's still brilliant. With no men injured and no casualties, moves the ambulance out of the way so Fireman Sam can deal with the shot fire. Sam jumps out, ready to deal with this next emergency. And soon he has the first of the fires out in the shop. Now it's just the next fire to deal with. This fire is a bit more stubborn, it just doesn't seem to want to go out. But Fireman Sam battles on. Finally, that fire's out as well. Well done, Fireman Sam! Fireman Sam runs over to help Elvis and Tom Thomas, who are still trying to put out the final fire, actually in the fire station. Leave this to me, said Fireman Sam. And very soon he's in the thick of it, trying to put out the last fire. <gasps> and he does. Well done Fireman Sam, well done Elvis, and well done Tom Thomas. Everyone's helped out here from Rubble, Pepper Pig, Nurse Flood, and Station Officer Steel. This has been a true team effort, and it just shows what you can do when everybody pulls together and works together in such an emergency. The Great Fire of Pontypandy has been extinguished, and no one's been hurt. That's great news. So please like, share and subscribe and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Bye bye for now. Goodbye.
there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So today I've got a Ponty Pandy rescue set to share with you. And together we can create the world of Fireman Sam. So there are three figures in this set. We've got Station Officer Steel, Fireman Sam and Tom Thomas. There are two vehicles, there's Venus and Wallaby One. It also comes with a rotating turntable, a built-in carry-in handle and also a twist to hear the alarm bell. And on the side of the box it tells us all about other vehicles and other buildings that we can collect to create the world of Fireman Sam. And also available are ocean rescue vehicles and buildings and mountain rescue vehicles and a building there. So then guys, I can't wait to see what's in the box, so let's take a look, shall we? Oh, wow. Oh, this is amazing. Let's take a close look at our fire station. So it has the uh, Fireman Sam logo and badges on the front there, lights on either side, a window and also has the folding doors that the vehicles come in and out of the station through and it opens up inside, there's a little clip that you can keep the station together, it opens up to reveal the station and on the side we have a bell and there's a fireman's pole and there's little sections that we can put different things in as we go and here the set comes with a bag of goodies let's take a look at what we've got here we have our three figures station officer still tom thomas and fireman sam and there's a station control set table two chairs, there's a fire bucket, fire extinguisher, a handle, two pieces that I'm not sure, that might go on the uh, Wallaby one, I'm not sure what this piece is for yet, but we've got some um, metal cutters and um, a, a strap for something, that might be for Wallaby one as well, that might be a safety harness and there's also a cupboard to keep all of the firefighters uniforms and also we have a ladder let's fill up our fire station of ponty pandy full of fireman sam things And next in our set we have Wallaby One. So it's a lovely bright orange colour and here's the rotor blades and here's the winch on the side so I think that this hooks onto here and also we have Tom Thomas that we can put in the front. Here's our pilot Tom Thomas all ready for takeoff just take a close look at this fantastic wallaby one and wallaby one even has a rescue belt and fireman sam is demonstrating how it works that's amazing says fireman sam and next we have Venus and Venus is the water carrier and this is what our Venus looks like so it's bright red and yellow all over there's um, a tow bar at the back this is the water tank with the hose on the top and we've got the wing mirrors on either side we've got the lights and the horns at the front and there's a little steering wheel 
The doors open so we can put some figures inside. And there we are, we can fit Vime and Sam in the driver's position and station officer steal inside. Let's take another close look inside. And here we have Tom Thomas in the kitchen area. And it includes a cooker, a toaster and a kettle and a nice table and chairs. And on the ground floor we have the station doors where all the vehicles come in and out and a safety poster. And upstairs on the other side is where station officer still receives all of the information about the emergencies. And the firefighters can come down the fireman's pole instead of using the ladder. That's cool. And we have the bell. There's a station picture of all of the crew. There's a station bell on the inside that can ring. And also there's first aid cupboard on the wall. And of course we have the fireman's helmets, the oxygen cylinders and all of the equipment that they can store inside their cabinet. And lastly we have the rotating turntable that can turn the vehicles around as they come into the station. So first up here comes Venus. Let's turn her around shall we? That's awesome, Fireman Sam. How about Tom Thomas in Wallaby Run? And here we go. So this is an absolutely amazing playset and it's the Ponty Pandy Rescue Set and it included Fireman Sam, Station Officer Steel, Wallaby One and Venus. And of course we've got the Carry Along Fire Station with all the accessories. So if you like Fireman Sam and if you like toys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and come back for a whole lot more.
Naughty Norman was feeling particularly mischievous today. It's a Saturday and he was out and about in his go-kart. Dillis Price was just about to shut her shop and said to Norman, you can go out for an hour and then I want you back for your tea. Oh mum, I'll be back, don't worry. And with that, he raced off. I don't know, said Dillis to herself, that Norman will be the death of me. Norman felt that it was getting a little colder and then he noticed it was starting to snow. Oh, cool, he thought, but he didn't realise how dangerous it was going to be. The snow was starting to lay. And then it turned out to be a bit of a whiteout. Naughty Norman was in trouble. He got out of his little go-kart and he just didn't know what to do. But he thought to himself, I know, I'll climb up this snowy ridge. And he did. It turned out to be a cavern full of snow and Naughty Norman slipped. And he fell right into the centre. Tom Thomas was out and about in Wallaby Hill and he had seen just what happened to Norman so he ran through the emergency to the emergency control centre at the fire station in Ponty Pandy. Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington arrived in Jupiter and they could see poor naughty Norman Price in the distance. Poor Norman, he really needs our help, said Fireman Sam. I know, I've got a top idea. Fireman Sam popped into the emergency rescue basket and Elvis Cridlington pushed him across the ice towards naughty Norman. Naughty Norman was freezing. Fireman Sam reassured Naughty Norman, don't worry Norman, we'll have you out of here in no time. Poor Norman was shivering and he was turning blue. Norman managed to pull himself up onto the ridge. Fireman Sam grabbed hold of him quickly and rescued him into the emergency basket. Naughty Norman was safely in the basket with Fireman Sam, but the drama wasn't over. Elvis Cridlington needed to hook up the fire rescue vehicle to the basket and winch them off the ice. This new fire rescue vehicle is a top new addition to all of the fire rescue vehicles that they have in Ponty Pandy and Elvis Cridlington hooked up the basket with the winch. He was able to drag them both to safety. That was a top job Elvis, but we need to get this young lad home to where it's nice and warm and dry. So they hopped into Jupiter, back to Ponty Pandy. So if you like Fireman Sam, and if you like toys, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also, four boxes will appear. Be sure to press on one of those boxes to continue the toy fun.